Let's go, it's the Whitey Show. So looking back on my channel, I've only ever reviewed one other Switch game. So Pokemon Legend would be the second game I ever reviewed for the system I've owned since launch. Now, this isn't to say I don't like the Switch. I just never really played it that much. I did play bigger titles like Mario, Zelda, Super Smash, and so on. But I just never really invested a huge amount of time into the games for that system. Especially if third-party games came out, I have rather played it on the Xbox or PlayStation. That aside, Pokemon did come out with a few games this generation. I have not played a Pokemon game since Sun and Moon. I just didn't really have the urge after that one. That was a pretty big disappointment for me. So picking up Pokemon Legends, I was both optimistic with this new gameplay revamps, but also reserved because not all major changes to big franchises always work. So the game starts simple enough. You fall from the sky and now the chosen kid to lead the way to connecting Pokemon to humans. That's right, we go back in time here. I believe this would predate any existing Pokemon game, or at least the mainline games, and it's really the origin of the world of Pokemon. There are no gym leaders or even trainers, just people befriending Pokemon. You are basically the first real Pokemon trainer tasked to discover the world and collect as many Pokemon as possible. And that is truly emphasized with the gameplay. So before we get to that, the story is simple, but it has enough callbacks to other games that will probably make you go, oh, that's where that came from. But is the story going to blow you away? No, it's fine. It's cute at times. It has a lot of neat world building, but then it's just a pretty average story with average characters, at least in my opinion. But the gameplay is where this game shines. Never, since maybe Gold and Silver, had I felt so compelled to catch every Pokemon. Now, that's not to say I haven't enjoyed a lot of Pokemon games, because I have, but I mostly used to catch, you know, a moderate amount, but used mainly six or seven Pokemon. And that was it. Here, every time I saw a Pokemon, I instantly felt the urge to catch it. At least the new one. I didn't keep catching the same one. Uh, in this game, you can do it a different way than usual. You can sneak around. You can use bait to, like, lure them. You can use smoke bombs to hide where you are. And then you catch Pokemon by throwing a Pokeball right at them or behind them to get an extra chance of catching them. And you don't even have to battle. Making this world feel more alive than it ever has and more real life-like Pokemon than ever before. So I have to say, I really enjoyed that factor. But when you do get into battle, it feels traditional in the sense that you're picking your Pokemon's attack and it is turn based, using the effects and weaknesses of each Pokemon to gain the advantage. All that's the same. There's also some really great animations to show up strong attacks, plus, having your Pokemon breathing and moving while in battle is just fresh and fun. And you're allowed to walk freely around the battlefield as the trainer. All that freedom really works. On top of that, they added in this ability for each move to either be agile or strong, making it that you have to master that move by using it a lot, and it gives you the slight edge, depending on which one you use, in certain battles. There's a lot of small quality of life things in this game as well. Things like easy uh, fast travel, getting Pokemon to help you travel faster through the field, such as flying or swimming with them, able to change our moves for your Pokemon without losing them forever is a major change that I don't think is in any other game, and I love it. And, of course, they keep the whole every Pokemon gains experience in your party, which I think they introduced a game or two ago, but thank God it's one of my favorite features and makes leveling so much more easy and i'm sorry manageable i don't want to train each and every fucking pokemon that'll just take forever no thank you you also get a lot of side quests so if longevity is your fancy there's plenty to do here now of course i didn't do every single side quest because there's no way i just don't have the time but most of them were fun and simple enough some are as easy as just catching a pokemon others are more difficult like fighting a mini enraged boss and talking about mini bosses, these enraged Pokemon, which are usually three or four times the size of the regular version of them, give a fairly decent chat give a fairly decent challenge on top of being able to catch them and use them in future battles, adding to the game even more when you catch one of these big motherfuckers and add them to your party. 
Listen, there is a ton to cover in this game, but my point here is all these neat features from the actual fighting gameplay to catching Pokemon to traveling and even the side quests actually work to an advantage to make it an enjoyable and fresh, exciting, open world Pokemon game that I really find it hard that anybody who's into Pokemon or was into Pokemon would find disappointing. <clears throat> now the game isn't perfect. The graphics are limited by the hardware of the Switch, which we're in five years now. So there's definitely some models that could have worked on better. There's a lot of pop-ins, and that's a problem when you're walking and a Pokemon just pops up out of nowhere, especially a shiny Pokemon, which you only usually have one chance to catch, and areas could look better. I'm not going to lie there. This all comes down, again, to the Switch being five years old by now and not the strongest console to begin with. While it's jarring at points, like I said, overall, this wasn't a huge hindrance in my time when playing this game. Is Pokemon Legends a perfect game? Well, no. Is it a nice fresh step into the next evolution for the Pokemon franchise? I'd say yes. What's most exciting is probably what the next game will bring and what will likely be on the next console, which I fully expect to at least get 4K graphics by then from Nintendo. But for now, this is a great time to be a Pokemon fan. I think this is an exciting and fun game. Well worth your money if you're into Pokemon. And I can't give it anything less than an 8.5 out of 10. I think this is a great game and a step in the right direction. And I hope you guys can enjoy it. I hope you liked this review. If you did, by all means, do what you do best and give me a like. Give me a, a comment saying how much you love this game. I would love to hear what you think of this game. Or if you're not interested at all because of the changes, that interests me too. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you next time.